Question three, a functional requirement, functional requirement for a software solution that collects the contact details of customers who dine in at a restaurant could be, A, saving customer data to a file. Let's go back again. So what does it need to do? <clears throat> it needs to, a functional requirement for a software solution that collects the contact details collects contact details of customers who dine in a restaurant. So saving customer data to a file. Okay, we'll leave that there. It might be an iffy. B, that the solution can be used on multiple devices. Doesn't say anything about that. And that that might be a little bit... Um, it might be a little bit blurry between functional and non-functional. So I don't think it would be that one. The solution can fail to take an order no more than once a month. That's clearly not in the scope of whatever this is, so I would count that one off. That the restaurant's customers should be able to easily enter their details into the solution. It doesn't say anything about that either, and it doesn't. We're not talking about usability or efficiency or something sort of this a bit more evaluationy around around that point. So, and it's not really, does this need to happen for the software to work, to function? If you remember the keyboard, you know, there's a keyboard and I have a space bar down here. I, the keyboard as a functional client, need that key on there. Whether that key be long and, and skinny and up there or up here as a non-functional requirement or colored in uh, blue, doesn't matter. But the, to make the keyboard work, a functional requirement would be that there is a space bar on a keyboard. So I'm thinking that this A is saving the customer data to a file would be a functional requirement of this um, this software thing, this software solution. Let's check the answer. This is number, number three. A, yes, most people got that right. And if you're wanting to look up more about functional and non-functional requirements, page 88 in your books.